in the weathered corridors of ancient wisdom, where echoes of the past meet the whispers of eternity. Philosophers and mystics have long delved into the enigma of self and its cosmic reflection. At the heart of their contemplations lies a command carved into the stone of the Temple of Apollo at Delphi. Know thyself. This ancient directive is far more than a suggestion. It is a profound and urgent imperative that has resonated through the ages, calling us to embark on the ultimate odyssey inward, to the very core of our being. This journey of self-discovery is not a casual stroll, but a dedicated quest to peel back the layers of persona and perception, to reach the untouched, pristine core of pure consciousness within. It's an excavation of the deepest truth of our existence, a relentless pursuit to uncover the essence that lies beneath the accumulated sediment of beliefs, experiences, and societal impositions. As we venture inward, we begin to discern the mirage created by our senses. We come to understand that our perceptions, often mistaken for absolute reality, are but a tapestry intricately woven with the threads of our personal histories and collective illusions. The world we navigate, once believed to be solid and unchanging, reveals itself as a fluid, ever-shifting landscape, molded by the thoughts and beliefs we project upon it. In this profound introspection, we discover that true harmony in relationships is not something to be found or forged in the external world. Rather, it emanates from the tranquil waters of our inner self. It is in this inner sanctum, this silent, vast space within, that we encounter the wellspring of love and fulfillment. Here, love is not a distant goal to be pursued or a prize to be won. It is a fundamental state of being, as natural and essential as breathing. This realization revolutionizes our approach to relationships and to life itself. No longer do we seek completion or affirmation from external sources. Instead, we recognize that all we have been searching for resides within us. We understand that each person we meet, each interaction we have, is not about seeking something from the other, but about recognizing and honoring the divine reflection they offer of our innermost self. In the quietude of this understanding, we find a peace and harmony that is unshakable. Not because our external world has become perfect, but because we have found the unchanging center within, the eternal self that is connected to all things. From this place of profound inner connection, our relationships become expressions of our deepest truth, mirrors reflecting the boundless love and peace that reside within. The ancient imperative to know thyself is not just a call to introspection, but a summons to liberation, a liberation from the illusions and constraints of the external world, a liberation into the truth of our own divine nature. It is an invitation to each of us to embark on the greatest adventure there is. The journey within, to discover the infinite cosmos reflected in the depths of our own being. The profound conversations of philosophers and the intricate revelations of quantum physics intersect at a pivotal understanding. The reality we experience is a mirror of the beliefs that reside in the deepest recesses of our psyche. The oscillations we witness in our relationships, the vacillation between love and indifference, are not random occurrences, but shadows, ephemeral and elusive, cast by the steadfast light of our own inner convictions and assumptions. To transform these fleeting shadows into a consistent and warm radiance of love and understanding, the journey must begin within. It is an inward gaze, a deep and honest introspection that reveals the truth, 
The turmoil and inconsistency we encounter in our outer world are direct reflections of the inner tempests, the unresolved conflicts, and the unexamined beliefs that whirl within us. This recognition is not an end, but a beginning. The first step on a path of transformation, by consciously aligning our self-concept with the higher truths of our nature, our capacity for love, understanding, and connection, we begin the work of internal architecture. We become sculptors of our own being, chiseling away the rough, unexamined assumptions and smoothing the edges of our fears and doubts. As we do so, our external world begins to change shape, reflecting the new form we are giving to our inner selves. This is not a process of forceful will, but one of enlightened thought and understanding. It's an alignment with the universal truths that quantum physics hints at and philosophers ponder. The interconnectedness of all things, the power of thought to shape reality, and the profound potential of human consciousness. As we align ourselves with these truths, our interactions and relationships become expressions of our highest selves. They transform into harmonious exchanges where love is not a scarce resource, doled out in measured quantities, but a natural, consistent radiance emanating from the core of our being. In this state of alignment, we are not merely reacting to the world around us, but actively creating it. We become architects of harmony, crafting our lives and our relationships with the tools of awareness, compassion, and our relationships with the tools of awareness, compassion, and enlightened understanding. The shadows of inconsistency and turbulence are replaced by the steady light of love and clarity. We understand that every encounter, every challenge, is an opportunity to reflect our highest truths and to contribute to a reality that is more loving, more understanding, and more connected. This transformative journey is the legacy of those philosophers and quantum physicists alike. It is their invitation to us to see beyond the surface of things, to understand the profound power that lies within, and to use that power to create a world that reflects the highest potentials of our nature. In this way, we become not just observers of reality, but active participants in its creation, sculpting our lives and our world with the chisel of enlightened thought and the vision of our most profound truths. Theologians and cosmologists speak of a universe interwoven with the threads of interconnectedness, where separation is the grandest illusion. The biblical verse in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was with God. John 1, 1, encapsulates the unity of existence. Our true self, formless and boundless, dances in an eternal embrace with the cosmic laws, Misidentification with limiting beliefs is the only veil that obscures this dance. To lift this veil, we must embrace our true nature, allowing the transformation of our self-image to reflect the boundless love and bliss that is our essence. The saints and sages, through their meditative insights, have charted the path to internal sanctum where the heart of reality beats in unison with our deepest desires. This journey is not about acquiring, but about remembering. Not about becoming, but about being. As we quiet the mind and listen to the whispers of our heart, we discover the symphony of love and fulfillment playing eternally within us. This realization, once seeded in the fertile soil of our consciousness, blossom into relationships that are reflections of our reflections of our inner sanctity. The quest to actualize the ideal self is an odyssey that transcends mere self-improvement. It's a journey to the very heart of what it means to be fully human. Philosophers, psychologists, and spiritual guides throughout history have illuminated this path 
each shedding light on the intricate process of transforming potential into reality. The ideal self isn't a static destination or a fixed state of perfection, but a dynamic, ever evolving expression of our deepest potentialities and highest aspiration to actualize the ideal self is to engage in a continuous dialogue between who we are in the present moment and the most luminous vision of what we can become. It's an unfolding process of becoming, a relentless pursuit of alignment, where each thought, each action becomes a deliberate stroke on the canvas of our existence. This journey requires a profound understanding of our inner landscape, an intimate knowledge of our strengths, weaknesses, desires, and fears. It begins with the vision of the ideal self, a detailed and vivid picture of the person we aspire to be. This vision serves not as a distant idol to be worshipped, but as a guiding star, a compass pointing toward our true north. It's a vision that should be flexible and fluid, adapting and evolving as we grow and learn, as we gather new insights and experiences. The path to actualization is paved with the stones of self-reflection and mindfulness. It demands an honest assessment of our current state, a willingness to confront our shadows and limitations, and a courageous commitment to growth and learning. It's about recognizing and celebrating our innate strengths while also acknowledging and addressing the areas where we fall short. Actualizing the ideal self is not a solitary endeavor, but a communal one, involving the relationships and interactions that shape us. It's about how we engage with the world, how we imprint our essence onto the fabric of existence. Our relationships Challenges and experiences are not mere distractions or obstacles, but integral elements of our journey, offering opportunities for growth, learning, and transformation. As we walk this path, we become architects of our own character, sculpting our thoughts, behaviors, and habits to reflect the highest version of ourselves. We learn to act not out of fear or compulsion, but from a place of conscious choice and deep alignment with our core values and aspirations. We become aware of the power of our thoughts and beliefs in shaping our reality and learn to harness this power to create a life that reflects our highest ideals. In actualizing the ideal self, we also embrace the paradox of striving and surrendering while we actively work toward our goals and vision, we also learn to surrender to the flow of life, trusting that the journey itself will mold and shape us in ways we cannot foresee. We understand that there will be setbacks and failures, but we see them not as defeats, but as integral parts of the learning process, stepping stones on the path to becoming. James Allen, a sage of his time, discerned love as the fundamental law of life, a principle as pervasive and enduring as the cosmos itself. This law, which tenderly envelops the entirety of creation, isn't an imposition from the beyond, but an innate decree echoing from the deepest chambers of our being. When we dissolve the illusions of isolation and recognize the inherent unity of all that is, we come to understand that love isn't merely an abstract ideal to be pursued. It is the very essence of our existence. As we awaken to this profound truth, our perspective shifts radically. We begin to see love not as a mere sentiment or emotion, but as the foundational force of the universe, the underlying current that connects and animates all things. This realization brings with it a transformation, a liberation from the narrow confines of the self. The barriers we've erected, the walls that separate us from others, begin to crumble, revealing the interconnectedness that is our true nature. In this light, 
our relationships become more than just interactions between individuals. They transform into sacred channels through which divine love flows. Every connection, every encounter, becomes an opportunity to express and experience this boundless love. We begin to approach each person, not as an other, but as an extension of ourselves, an embodiment of the same divine essence that we are. As we embody this truth, our actions, our words, and even our thoughts become infused with love. We move through the world not as separate beings struggling against each other, but as facets of a greater whole working in harmony. Our relationships become deeper, more meaningful, and more fulfilling. They become sources of joy and growth, reflecting the infinite compassion and bliss that reside within us. This is not a passive state, but an active practice. Embodying the law of love requires constant attention, awareness, and intention. It means choosing love in every moment, in every situation, even every situation, even especially when it's difficult. It means looking past the surface appearances and seeing the underlying unity in all things. It means letting go of the ego with its fears and desires and allowing the higher self the self that is connected to all, to guide our actions and interactions. As we live this truth, as we align ourselves with the law of love, we become beacons of light in a world that often seems shrouded in darkness. We become vessels of healing, agents of transformation, co-creators of a reality based on unity, compassion, and joy. In embodying love, we fulfill our highest potential and we help pave the way for others to do the same. We participate in the grand unfolding of the universe, a story not of separation and conflict, but of reunion and harmony, a story where love is not just a law, but the very fabric of existence.